Welcome, this is the fourth and final part. Um, like I said, I'm switching to MetaTrader to point out on lower time frame how I actually uh, get pinpoint those uh, those entries. Um, here's the thing. Um, let, let, let's take this part of the market over here. This is the four hour chart and what we do always do is, is of course uh, identify the first uh, area where where things are happening now to me this was kind of a fake out so this was was to me is the is a clear pattern where we are trading from and of course oh wait a minute this would be a top uh, side of the channel so this was a trending channel as well um, supports resistances etc etc you know it's all uh, it's all there so let's see if we can identify that uh, that and pinpoint that uh, certain level well I in the previous video was a similar situation where uh, where you could say okay well this is trending uh, this is correcting because the, 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 the movement is up and when price is correcting in other words forming a pullback um, we are trying to identify how far or what this pullback will be like and then uh, we uh, we enter the market well there are things like you know if you want to place an order or, or do anything because you know this trend line is is an actual support trend line you know it's all possible it's all possible but um, there are more ways to enter this market so for example this is still the hourly chart um, draw in a trend line that is uh, supportive or in this case a resistance trend line counter trend of the bigger time frame and then identify uh, where we are at from that level which can also zoom in okay okay well, this is kind of annoying but in MetaTrader price sometimes okay yeah it's it's, it's flipping back and back okay um, how are we gonna do this for now okay 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 let's do it like this um, Maybe, maybe if we go lower. Yeah, this was this was the level. No, it's not gonna work like that. Okay, welcome to the world of MetaTrader, the most annoying and worst platform out there. Never mind. <laughs> we'll we'll find a solution. Okay, so we we, we moved into this uh, this higher level over here. Price stalled for a minute. So these are all all things, all parts of information that I'm like. You know, this was kind of a support, um, and by the time we uh, we we uh, we started to break that support, the, uh, we started to turn a bit bearish, of course, on this uh, on this time frame. We never managed to uh, to uh, to form a new high. So some more information on the chart at the moment is this. Um, so we are starting to get the feeling. We're starting to get the hang of. Uh, what is going on here in this uh, in this move? Maybe we can do the same for this one over here. Does this connect? Kind of, kind of. Yes. Okay. So this is the overall picture. Um, market just opened. We had a push lower, which is an actual um, um, momentum. Uh, but we're overall, we're still into this uh, corrective structure over here. So if we consider going long, even though we are at a high level, um, of course we need a break of this trend line and a uh, continuation. But now that we are on the lower time frame, let me show you what else is uh, on the chart. This is the ultimate low at the moment. Let's see if that is something that is in line with something yes it is actually um, this 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 can maybe be a pin bar so we can ignore that for sure at the moment this is the story we got it on the charts now um, we moved into this area here where price seems to find resistance uh, quite a lot uh, and and su and support a little bit over here and now again it's finding support so this this could have been an entry to get a couple of points to the upside not really looking for that I'm only looking for real long entries down here at the moment we are trading like this and this is, uh, let's go back to that 15 minute chart um, we moved lower came back up and now we are um, forming this first pullback on a 15 minutes this is actually um, very unlikely this uh, this will drop right away straight through forming new lows so I'm, I'm assuming this will be for today again an up market so the correction is kind of coming to an end this is the ultimate level where where this pullback could could uh, could go through and um, 
let's see if we can get in around uh, let's say 90 so it's the 13 190 and let's see if we can get a a, a, a move back up to the let's say uh, if we go from 90 let's see if we go to 20 this is the range this is the level where we can get in and try to get some 25 points out of so even if you zoom in um, you know then again if price is over here this is the lower time frame this is the ultimate resistance there is a way to get in around the 30 level and maybe ride it back into the let's say 70 level so you can you can get your 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 tens of euros uh, from this uh, idea as well but um, so that's that's trading within the day and finding a little bit more momentum within the day but the thing we are actually looking at here is is this the trend is already up uh, assuming the trend will continue to go up here is my idea on that I think and I'm looking for some more movement some consolidation maybe let's see if this this level is really the level or that we will get uh, get even lower uh, from here on out but we have to see um, and then we get some some combination of this support level with the supportive bigger time frame uh, trend line and this is actually the moment where you know after some consolidation we uh, we are looking for and then finally if you want to pinpoint your entry let's let's assume price is already in this area over here the channel is getting uh, more narrow um, and we're starting to see on the on the on even on the hourly chart that we are getting a lower high followed by a higher high and even another higher high at the moment we get ourselves a break this was the ultimate break we 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 broke out of the corrective structure trend line came in for a retest bang that's where you want to go in that's the sweet spot this would be your stop loss of course uh, you already got confirmation on those moves over here and then we are rallying again so same thing is what we were looking for here this was a consolidation phase maybe expecting a consolidation phase from here when it breaks maybe retest and then we continue to move to the upside as long as these levels are in place we are good to go um, remember structures break from time to time so if this this uh, this rallying phase is over it's coming to an end and we we move to the to the short side that's that's another scenario and the other thing is within a th this you know it doesn't happen every day um, sometimes you have to wait for a long time before uh, it happens and then you also when you start drawing those scenarios on the chart, you also have this this area over here um, this this is uh, also a level to be watching because price came in here is finding support right now it's finding resistance so um, this was something could have been expected maybe a little bit it's kind of kind of a wild trade but especially the rejection over here a strong move up ne nothing goes in a straight line we are now on a 15 minute chart seeing this pullback um, and it's 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 starting to look like uh, the pullback is coming to an end so if you can enter on 200 level you can you can get yourself a 25 or 30 out of the market it always depends not every day is is there to to be to be you know with your full attention on the trade um, here this is this this was the rally rally ended um, we had this sharp drop pullback now is this the time to enter the market could be if you put your stop just below here um, ideally we need a break of this level to get confirmation because this is uh, still into in in some corrective mode. So I I, z I almost never uh, go to the one minute chart, but also over here you can see that you know that the price is at a certain level. So you see some consolidation over here. This level here is is uh, is holding for now. Then we have final push and this explosive move. At market open, where I explained you in a previous video that price is uh, is more is more has more momentum, um, and we had this break of this level, a retest, and when we started moving to the upside. This so this is also a pretty readable uh, flip uh, flipping level. Um, also here, if you want to pinpoint your entries and you're looking for those things, let's see what happens from here on out. You know, if we if we clear this level, we are rallying again, and this moves over. Maybe maybe not, and we see some further correction, and we test this this level again, and then break out of this zone. You know, it's all about make sure you you get your confirmation uh, once uh, taking on a trade. So let's get that off for now. Don't uh, don't finish the video on a, a minute chart. 
Um, this is where we are. We are in corrective structure, and the thing I want to avoid uh, is actually, um, actually the level market is uh, the, the the price is moving at at the moment because we are not near this resistance level and we're not near this support level. So this could go either way. Is and that's that's you know it's kind of hard to trade. Um, and I, I I prefer to stay out of that, but um, you know, yeah, that's that's uh, that's what's going on. Um, so let's see some consolidation, some further momentum to the to the to the to the downside, and then once we get into this area over here, then things really start to get interesting, and we can uh, we can go. No no reason to jump into a trade too early. Why should you do that? You want to pick your best trades. Um, I s I, I hope I I get uh, I get my point across. Uh, a four-part video. Um, I'll. Um, I do have a little addition to this, and that is using some Bollinger Band um, setup. So if you would like me to add that in a in a fifth part or in a separate video, please comment below. I'll uh, I'll consider that. And um, well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll. Uh, I'm looking forward to your questions or anything you want to know about this um, pullback trading strategy because uh, yeah, interesting to uh, to see your feedback and to to make maybe an additional video if if not everything uh, was clear. Thanks for watching.